What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Company of Heroes Let's Play. And we are on Mission 5, Monteberg. So in the last mission we successfully defended Carantan from counter-attack counter and uh, sadly did not, uh, oops sorry about that, sadly did not get the uh, medal award. Um, but say la vie, let's crack on. So we're on to Mission 6, Monteberg, which is all about securing a route for the Red Ball Express so that supplies can support the, the final push on Sherbog as the mission says. So, let's crack on. The US First Army is marching north up the Cotonin Peninsula. So securing a supply line to Sherbog is our new objective. It's been codenamed the Red Ball Express. Able and dog companies will penetrate down this road as far as possible and secure it. During the advance, our flanks will be exposed. This area has a lot of walled courtyards and hedgerows, so watch for ambush. My dear guys, there's a bit of the... Uh... The setup there, and this mission caused me a lot of grief <laughs> when I first played this mission um, a while back. Um, but it is a fun one, it's a bit different. Um, there's a few ways you can go about completing it. I'm probably going to go about it, probably not a very efficient way, but but you know, I have fun. That's my main priority. <laughs> it's, uh, cinematic. You get access to some pretty cool toys in this one. Listen up. Dog Company was ambushed. Captain Bishop has requested our support. The survivors are holding out under heavy fire. We need to relieve them. Get a combat group together and move out now. Dog won't last long out there. Dog Company's running out of time. Okay, so let's get the, uh, give my... Give the half track a quad 50 and then let's move up my troops. Just to move straight up into the uh, into the zone. Well actually, because there are AT guns and stuff in positions along the left, so I do want to move them uh, towards the left. Ooh, I wonder if this will mean anything later on. Um, but yes, after some point then just right click to move them into the zone so this guy I upgraded with the quad 50 which makes it a very very good infantry killer while still retaining its upgrade um, capability or like a reinforcement capability for the infantry and it's just Enemy devastating when it gets going my infantry bringing up the rear so I want to position my guys preemptively for the for some uh, reinforcements that I know are going to be arriving. Which means armoured cars at the back, quad 50 out of the way, and tanks in key position. Hopefully, well, yeah, I, think, I think the sound should be pretty okay. Actually, might just. just a little bit. get these guys to cap the point mostly because of this stug that's coming in to reinforce excellent so hopefully this should be secured Good, and let's immediately get these guys to uh, repair my vehicles. Dog squads have joined Able. 
<laughs> Allied Field HQ is located here. Set up a base of operations and call in reinforcements. All right, Abel. Word from HQ is that it's up to us to clear the road to Cherbourg. This should be a simple operation. At least one of these two roads must be secure. That means moving up and setting up defenses to cover the Red Ball Express. Use engineers to expand our base and call in additional reinforcements. Without this road, the Red Ball Express isn't going anywhere. Let's get to work. Okay, so let's get the base to start building up their own independent um, their own independent defenses. Uh, but what I want to do is move up with my riflemen first while this ref while this um, while this work is ongoing, and I would like them to move up here and to knock out a few enemy anti tank guns. So there's an objective, and you want to come in here and destroy this headquarters. Let's just drop a drop a grenade on them. Base is, base is taking fire, so I'm probably gonna have to withdraw one of my tanks back. But principally, what I want to do is. Uh, these two stugs and move them up. Not stugs. Be wary of mortars being dropped on me. Yeah, that's fair enough. What I want to do is get these tanks up here to attack this stug. These guys run around here to knock out this AT gun before my guys enter the courtyard. Let's get my engineers up to reinforce. Then let's move up and uh, move out my armoured cars. Then move up my tanks to destroy uh, the vehicles. Do not follow him because you will get sucked into a trap. Okay, let's pull my engineers back. Build barracks. If these guys to hit this unit, basically they have no. If I can destroy these, if I can destroy these uh, uh, vehicle manufacturing facilities, and they'll have nothing really to stop me. So let's get raid, which will allow my armored cars to capture points. Ooh, they've actually got. They actually, let fly with a Panzerfaust. Then, once there's more, as are taken out, I'll move in my engineers to get repairs on the go. Come on, destroy that single mortar crew. Well, they can't do anything. So, let's bring in my. Engineers. Let's bring out my half track so I can reinforce this single engineer, the single infantry unit. Enemy unit down. Good. Let's pick up a veteran rifle unit and then let's pick up a. Whoop. So this is our uh, extended mission objective. To destroy the Panzer Kampfgruppe, which is uh, consists of long, I think it's a dozen, I think it's a dozen long-barreled 75s. So I 
probably want a supply yard. Reinforcement underway. Yeah, let's just let these guys destroy things for a minute. So I think, well, one of the places where I think they usually try to go is towards your base. So I would like, if possible, let's build a weapon support center as well. Let's move my tank up. And let's see if I can get these guys to capture a anti-tank weapon. This anti-tank piece. So let's immediately retreat the infantry back. Let's relocate the AT gun to get a better field of fire and to have some cover. Yeah, you can see they are coming my way. There we go. Three Panzer fours. So what I want. My infantry need to go up and... Oh no, not my tank, not my tank. Fall back, fall back. Let's move up with my infantry to throw out some sticky bombs. Which, if you've seen Saving Private Ryan... Oh, and they do also have a bazooka. It actually is a bazooka, not a panzer track. Destroyed engine, so it's not going to be able to run away. Infantry kill for my. Infantry kill for my. Um, uh, my. Rifleman squad. Yeah, don't know why that was such a hard, hard thing to think of. Let's get another unit of engineers. And now I have raid, I'm going to send. Whoa, I want to avoid that little Kampfgruppe. I'm probably going to leave one of these here for now. So let's, let's run one of my tanks out. Cool, you cap this. So I'm going to go heavy on observation posts because I would like um, more resources. So my tank's going to... Engineer reinforcement so my underway. tank is going to run along in here. Yeah, let's run them out. My tank is going to go in and have a look. an OP on the medium. Oh, now I have to build within connected territory, so let's move up this AT gun, AT gun, armored car. Good. So let's go for Allied War Machines. I'm planning to go very vehicle heavy. Can you just go for there? Around has knocked a uh, slowed them as uh, slowed the. Ooh, what's over here? Let's move up and grenade that position. So my M H usually pretty good. It should be pretty good to deal with these things. Um, should keep an eye on them. These guys are definitely knackered. It's probably that mortar, I think, dropping shells on them. So let's take my engineer crew. Let's get them in a position to help this guy. These are mates are pretty good against just bog standard infantry. But let's get my crab tank in involved. There we go. They're retreating. 
Let's get them capped. Let's get my engineers up to fix this guy, who's almost pretty naked. <laughs> Mr. Panzerfaust against just a regular, a regular infantry squad. Okay, so let's get a Enemy unit supply dead. yard up and running. And then let's get a. I can't get a triage center, so I've not got any fuel. So I'll wait for these guys to. Good. You move down, take that fuel. So let's get an OP on this fuel point. They're fixing that. Let's make that thing capture. What's that? Oh, that's one of the tanks. Nail it, nail it, nail it. Enemy unit down. Nail it away. You get up in position to defend that tank. Lots of tanks. So I want to... Ideally I'd like to keep my tanks grouped together, but I don't know how realistic that's going to be. So you got a tank there. Ostwind falling back very slowly in the centre. Fortunately I did lose the gunner on that. Okay, so I'm going to want to get this to increase the um, uh, the rate of uh, uh, manpower growth. So let's take this crew over here to capture this point. Let's move him up. Let's get these guys up to drop a drop a sticky bomb. Keep the rotation going in my favour. I could spin the AT gun around, but I want them to keep going that way. The the M8's having a go. So if they get within range, to throw a sticky bomb. Good. Ah, oh, he's not going to retreat anyway. Get rifleman to cap there. Let's OP this munition as well. So I want to drop, I want to throw out um, sticky bombs and frag grenades and you know all that good stuff without worrying about it. Enemy unit down. So he's going to cap there, then he's going to cap this one. Good, 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 good. So have I got enough for a fuel depot? No, I do not. So let's get a OP on the fuel. Yeah, as I got absolutely buckets of uh, manpower at the minute, I may as well just spend it just building OPs on everything just to boost up my munition and fuel. And in not very long, let's get that. Let's reduce the time it takes to deploy vehicles. So let's get level one production. And how far off tank depot? Ninety fuel. Yeah, it's a reasonable amount. Then you're gonna uh, OP it. So let's group my tanks together and move in on this uh, final vehicle. Finish construction, good. Get back to here. These guys are going to send up the left hand side of the map and attack this fuel position. Good. You wait for now. And move these tanks forward to take out this guy. Because I want to secure this fuel point as well. I'm probably going to want to recruit a mortar just to sit inside the compound. Don't want my M8 getting involved just yet. He's going to support the route, the push on the left. These guys are going to be positioned. Ah. Ah. These guys may as well try and OP this point because these guys, are, these tanks are going to destroy the uh, Panzer IV anyway. So let's get these guys down to the main road. Okay. 
Okay, now we can get the tank depot. Yeah, there's another Panzer. Can't OP it. So let's get these guys in to repair. Enemy unit down. Let's check out this objective thing. Pretty sure it's yeah. Not anymore. Then not. No. I don't think I will. Yeah, these guys can't. Oh, they can. Or is it pathing? Nope, they can do it. Good. So you've only got three, so you may as well fall back. The M8's gonna have a look. I'm pretty sure there's a t there's a um AP AT gun right there. Get you guys to fix him. Good, get back to this compound, get ready to move on this fuel point. Deploy the moors inside the compound to shell that centre position. So, first priority, get the big gun. Get this guy to cap the fuel. See, normally what happens is I've ru I've I've messed up my uh, I've messed around with my tanks for so long, <laughs> with my um, vehicles for so long that they're actually now broken, that uh, they're normally destroyed. So I'm gonna dot some machine gun posts around because they do get, you know, I'm defending the road. It fits the theme. I'm defending the road. Where's my mortar position? Are they getting ready? So if I move these guys out to cap fuel point, who tries to stop me? Actually, I'll just let the M8 do it. Let these guys scout. No, I'll let them cap it. If I leave the quad there, that should be okay. And if I bring the tank down... Move the tanks up, and I forgot about the gun, but I don't have enough manpower yet. Boom. There we go. I want them to shell the centre building, because there's uh, usually people there. So for now, just let my tanks... Just let my tanks be tanks. Let's bring these guys, this guy down to flank from the top. Let's get you up there to build an OP. Oh, can't build an OP yet. No, I don't want to get shot up yet. Enemy unit down. Let's move in. Fall back, because they're all in there. So deploy the tanks. Oh, no, 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 no. Not my... Oh, main gun destroyed. Let's run this guy up to knock out that AT gun. Let's just move this guy up to cover one of the roads. Sweet. We have the crossroad. Crossroad is secure. As of now, this road's an army road. No crowds allowed. Let's keep our road open, people. Hook a grenade onto him. Lead elements of the Red Ball Express are inbound. The convoy will assemble here before its final leg to Sherborne. It's our job to break any attack on those trucks. This convoy must get through. Lot depends on this. So I generally favour the left hand left hand road. Just deploy, open fire on that there, Panzer IV. Let 
Let's move one of my engineer units to come and fix him up. Let's nudge him forward. Because these don't take up any pop, so... Oh, and I can't build crocodiles, and I can't build M10s, so I'm going to build another Sherman when I've got the manpower to do so. Wicked. So, what I want to do... Trigger the flails, trigger the flails... And these are some cool-ass machines. Like, the guy who thought this was a good idea was mental. I can imagine trying to get it through and people going, you're going to do what? Attach, attach chains to a drum and then they're going to they're gonna what? Well, they're going to spin around and hit the ground and blow up a mine. Are they? Is that what they're going to do? But yeah, let's move up the uh, move up the road to trigger the next stage. I know, everyone focus fire that their tank. What's important is to keep this mine vehicle first in the head of the road for reasons that will become clear in a second. Landmines! <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, the crab's just a lot much more that much more um, fun, I think is the word. I don't know, it's things like survivable and stuff like that. Okay, let's move my moor up into the centre of what was the square. Let's run these guys up to throw a grenade into the church. Some more, they got some grenadiers and some stormtroopers. Move up my AT gun. So you can take both these roads, and they do have people placed in in all directions. Um, but I'm just generally more in favour of pushing the left, and then hunting down the tanks as and when if you need to. Let's push this guy up. Let's hit. Oh, I don't want that ball machine. I've got. I've picked the uh, fired off the wrong thing. But yeah, let's move up the tanks. Let's sprint these guys up to the left because um, not that I know what's going to happen. But usually some... Uh, there you go. Usually there's an AT gun that comes in to spoil all our fun. Enemy unit down. There we go. Where's my riflemen? My engineers? Well... Set them just to repair in general. Get these guys to capture the point. So if I have to hunt down the rest of these tanks, I will. Can't remember how far out the mines go. Lots of lots of bad guys coming up. So where's my engineers? There they are. Let's bring them up too. Just to get ready to repair everyone. Have you got a bazooka? You do have a bazooka. Okay, let's 
send neither of these guys because they both need repairs. Move the rifle mine up. Let's move the AT, the um, the M8s up here. They're hitting a forward emplacement, and that's completely fine. We're in the end game now. Mortars have hit my own M8, so let's draw him back. We have a secured sector under attack. There you go. Let's just drop some MG nests down because I've got loads of points. So these guys all well. So let's no, not you. Get this guy moving up. Let's keep the engineers back. So there's another one. Oh, I hit him with the flail. Okay, let's fall back and move up my... So I don't want to take this point yet. I want to cap because I want to cap the. I want to get the rest of the points. I'm going to want to. Panzer four. So these two move up and hack a. Uh, hack a. Go on, let's try steer. Oh god. These guys are on him. That's ten tanks. Got some machine gun teams. Oh, yeah. It's another little emplacement, so let's just move my armed car wolf pack up. We have a secured sector under attack. So where are my engineers? I might recruit some more engineers. Let's recruit a sniper. Because these guys are being cheeky little scamps. We have a secure sector under attack. Oh no you don't. I don't mind, sat I don't mind uh, sacrificing this guy if he knocks out the AT gun, which is not going to do. Let's spin him round. Let's bring up some infantry. There you go. Let's get me a free. Ready to go. 
Let's hit them there, so they got defilade on the armoured car. Make them just cap the center VP. Oh, did he knock out my thing when the uh, anti war machine hadn't popped? Well, that's inconsiderate. But this is about to be the end of him. Um, make my M8 shoot at him as well. <laughs> the M8 destroyed his main gun. There we go, and let's cap it with my water crew. Just let these guys continue to shoot on. Let's get armoured skirts for them, why not? Park Sherman there. Sweet, so let's turn off. Mine clearing. Park up my tanks as if as you would expect them to be parked if they just secured a village. Pick up this Sherman and plonk him down here in the, uh, the centre of the crossroads. That's where you'd expect to find a tank, I think. Red ball, clear to proceed. That officer's the only guy. Oh, he's got his Luger out. I've got one of those. Deactive A1, 1910. Cox and dry fires. It's a nice little piece of kit. There you go, he's down. But there we go. But yeah, so you can you can cap all these points to finish off the map. The main thing to make it easy in the long run is to destroy this thing, this compound, because otherwise they will just start sending Osfins and tanks down through this way. Not like proper tanks, but they will send like Stugs and Ostwins and Pumas and stuff like that. 34 infantry kills, 7 infantry kills. Should have picked uh, field repairs. That would have been a much more advantageous thing to get. There you go. You better retreat. Well, they may as well cap it. Convoy requesting fire support. you got nothing to shoot at. Secure building. There you go. That looks quite fluffy. There you go. So the armoured columns come in. We've occupied the building. We've moved up our tanks to face down the road in face of where the threats would come from. Taking fire. I think if I ran him down the road, he'd effectively suicide into some mines. But yeah, so you've got some mixed ones. You've got some trucks with supplies in the back. You've got covered up trucks and there are jeeps as well. Yep, there are jeeps as well. I thought this mission was really cool as I captured it. Like they'd come along and then you'd get the tanks attacking from here and you'd this road would get filled with wrecks. And you know, I just thought it was really interesting. And all I've decided to do was just fill it full of MG nests. <laughs> Build some tank traps. Keep yourself busy. Funny thing is, though, if we're the lead elements, then where are these guys going? There's no... We haven't cleared up that road. Could be anything. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mission complete. Sneaky, sneaky, watching the captain. Because we all know that a Panzer IV is exactly what you want to use. Or is it a Tiger tank? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just perched on my Tiger tank with a regular old pair of binoculars watching angrily at these two particular guys. Captains, no less. Anyway, mission complete. Um, they went pretty well. We got the medal, we captured a good chunk of the map, we destroyed the forward base. 
things went, I think things went pretty well. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. And then get ready for the, the next part, Mission 6, next week, which I think we will be attacking um, Cherbourg itself, which is uh, quite a fun mission. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.